peace and love to y'all. I know we back with another video today. We just thrifting. So I'm walking around in the thrift store right now. Wait, before, first things first. I don't know why you look at me. First things first. A lot of people be asking, Mari, we get your clothes from. Because if y'all don't got me on IG, I'm somewhat of a uh, fashion icon. Y'all like this? The most realest thing is you find the most distinct clothing wear in, in thrift stores, believe it or not. Like, you might go to a thrift store and be like, all this shit ass. Like, all this shit ass. But it's what you find and what you make of it. So usually what I do is I find things I can customize or bleach or paint on or cut up. And I make my own garments out of them. So, put y'all on game. So, hope we're going to see if they hot today. If they got some. This is it's this long ass green tea. So look, if you walk in, you see this long ass green tea. You're not wearing it, bro. But check this. Take this green tea, cut it up to the perfect size. Boom, throw it on some baggy jeans or something like that. Swaggy, stop playing. Put on a chain, accessories, oil up with some peaches, good goods, man. You good. One of the main things you look for. Well, if some of y'all don't know, like what to look for, or what to get. Like some people don't know how to thrift, so. If that's just the case, it's just say icky. If that's just the case that you don't know how to thrift, well, let me help you out. Number one, think about, well, before you even come thrifting, I want you to look at your closet and look at the things that you don't have or the colors you don't have, um, the different types of jeans you don't have, right? So you can have a clear view of what you're looking for or what you need or what you don't need. Because if you got a lot of red stuff in your closet, you don't want to keep getting red stuff. You don't want to find red stuff. You already got red. So uh, know what you need and know what you don't need. And that'll help you and make your time way faster. I ain't going to lie. Now me, I got a lot of black, so I don't know why I'm in a black aisle. Okay, so I'll find something else. I'm here with Key, by the way. Because I ain't show y'all him yet. But I'm here with Key, by the way. I can take some old shit and make it look fly. I can make this look fly like you can you can make anything look fly like boom take this cut off the sleeves right cut off the sleeves make it like into a little vest with the collar and yeah. and yeah. it's gonna take some thinking the colorway this thing that's cool I'm more of like a earth tone type dude so I like earth tone colors my worn colors that's your I am in certain spots in certain thrift stores sometimes oh and it's okay to look in the girls section like believe it or not folks be hiding folks be hiding in the girls section and y'all be too afraid to be noticed in the uh, girls section y'all be too uh, afraid to even go in the girls section and see what the girls section got nigga I'm gonna I'm go in that girls section nigga or the women's section I'm gonna go in the women's section and you will find some hard I'm trying to say uh I'm going to show y'all some of the stuff. Oh yeah, this is what they be having jackets and stuff. Mm. Not really. Like my dream, my dream style. I ain't gonna lie. It's like when I get up more and more, I'm gonna go for a dystopian, a dystopian type style. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be mixing it with everything else. I got a lot of stuff like this at home. I be dressing up, I be fresh. And I got jean jackets too. Like this right here, I like this. I like this. It's it's small. If it can fit my arms, I might add in the inventory just because it cut short. But if it cut too short, then I ain't gonna. Oh sh. Should I try it on? You don't even gotta try it on the whole thing. Just put it on the sleeve. See how the sleeve fit. It fit tight. It's, uh, yeah. You don't even gotta put on the whole thing, bro. Just put on the sleeve. Just put your arm in the sleeve. See how it feel. You know if you feel comfortable or not. Use your head, bro. You smart. Come on out. And nigga. 3K? 3K? All day, all night. All day, all night. 
Nigga hit 3K, bro. My last video, I was just talking about how we hit 2K. And I was like, I don't know where we at now. So I'm for the sake of this video, I'm gonna throw it out there. I don't know where we at now, but we just hit 3K, baby. Hey, can you like New Balance? No? You don't like this vest, though? This earth tone is nice. I feel like it go nice. It's a little bit long. Probably not for you. You nigga ain't talking about nothing, man. I like this. Only because I barely have red. If the bottom, the bottom does tighten up. See, look, you got to look for little details like that. Like, I don't like too baggy when it comes to the top. I don't like too baggy. I like a, a nice square fit. Or like, like this right here. Let me show you. Like this right here. It's not baggy. It's not a baggy hoodie. Um, and it's, it's smaller, but it ain't small on me. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's smaller, but it ain't small. It's nice. Nice size. And another thing, for those who can't dress or for those who, oh my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For those who can't dress or for those who need like some tips, proportions is important. No proportions of your fit. If you want to wear a skinny t-shirt and some baggy jeans, okay, you know what I'm saying? I might be fly. Now, if you wear a skinny t-shirt on a skinny, nah. I'm gonna break this down to y'all. All right, proportions. Okay. If I wore a cork, oh shit. If I wore a a coat with some skinny jeans, the proportions gonna be out all out of order. All right, let me give y'all an example. Hold up. This hoodie, it's not a baggy hoodie, but these baggy jeans. If y'all like the look, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's kind of mid. It ain't too skinny. Now if I throw in a white t-shirt, it should be tight, and these would be baggy. And yeah. So tight, baggy, or you can go, you can go big on big. You can go small on small. Me, me, I usually go big on big. I'm usually wearing baggy pants, or baggy cargos, and um, a larger, um, perfect crop tee or a nice fitted tee with a good collar. It depends on collar. Like that's that's really important to me. When it comes to big tees, I only rock a big tee if the collar is nice. If the collar is nice, hey, it's kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. Jalil, I call you Jalil, Key, the Florida. Now imagine taking this Florida, cutting this out because it is a little bit big, right? Just cut it. Crop it. Just crop it. Take this, uh, crop it. What if I cut the sleeves off and have it like baggy? Yeah. You say what? Huh? Yeah, I'm picking it out, nigga. You trying, trying to cheat me? <laughs> so boom, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do to this. Y'all gonna see it in later videos, but see, it's a little baggy for me. But I like the baggy look, just not length. So I cut that and uh and rock it. So we gonna put that in the cart. On this side is more so like cardigans, cardigans and like and like knitted, like knitted outfits. So this is closer on the female side. We are gonna see if we can find some over here from the female side. Now look at this. Now, me personally, I like this. I like this, I like the fabric. Throw it on with a white collar, you can't ever go wrong and you can never judge that it was from the female section. You could take this, throw in a white color, I mean white collar. Take this, throw in a white collar with it. Boom, throw it underneath, collar popping out. Nice contrast. I like it. So I'm gonna put that in there. Cause I barely, um, I barely got blue. I already got leather, I got red leather gray leather see back in high school i used to wear suits in school damn this shit nice mm -hmm. see this is nice but it's too hot for this i think this is nice because of like fabric i'm a fabrics guy i don't give no fuck i don't care if it say women i don't care if it look nice it looks suitable and i can rock it and i can put it on and the fabric is nice i love quality bro if it's quality uh quality clothing I like it but this looks small it looks too small for me like so I ain't gonna touch it y'all on to the next on, on to the next one yeah, my pants keep falling y'all get baggy jeans wear a belt you find anything huh you find anything man I found a couple of a couple of baggy jeans I'm gonna cut and make some jorts you know got some black ones some you gotta be careful blues. with the fabric though 
This they ain't gonna cut out right. It's gonna cut straight. That's what I was thinking, but I'm trying to get them a little bit tips and pointers too, so they don't just go looking like a fool. I know since it's summertime, I know a lot of y'all y'all trying to catch up with trends and stuff too. So a lot of y'all wanna wear wanna wear jorts, and y'all might not wanna uh, buy from a clothing brand who be selling jorts. Y'all might wanna make it for since we are most rawest and innovative YouTube community. I'm gonna put y'all on. Not really just put y'all on, but I know y'all wanna make y'all own self and y'all don't wanna, you know what I'm saying, go spending all your money. So I'm gonna help you, help you help me. So y'all trying to make jorts. Things you wanna avoid when trying to make jorts is certain uh, fabrics. Like this fabric right here. Let's see. What do you say? Cotton, polyester. This fabric right here is too thin and it's stretchy. So you don't wanna, you wanna stay away from stretchy fabric because when you try to cut these into drawers and you try to like pick them and try to make them denim and make it distressed and stuff, it's not gonna distress enough because it's thin. It's just gonna cut straight and it's gonna look, it's gonna look shitty. So what you wanna look more so is the jeans like this. And you can tell because of that. But jeans like this, I'll go for a baggy look, a way baggier look. Now, if your jorts, let me tell you one thing. Now, if your jorts, if you get in your size, if you get your, your pants true to size and you try to make jorts out of them, they look like booty shorts. So don't do them. <laughs> I'm dead ass. You want to make your pants, well, you want to pick out some baggy ass pants. But that's not too baggy on the waist because if you put a belt on them, your crouch part is gonna curl up like a cup, like you got on a football cup in your jeans. So you wanna, so that's why you wanna, uh, that's why you wanna make sure the waist fits. These jeans are pretty nice. These look pretty good. And they already distressed at the bottom too. I could take it, I could do something with these, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I got red dye at home, so if I wanna like change the color of the pants, I could change them at the crib. What the? F no, 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 no. So, what the? F hey, yo, hey, what nigga, I said? Oh. Like, hey, I get creative, man. Just, you we in a creative space. Nigga, bro. what the hell? Nigga, your tripod is cruise. Nigga, that's what it's supposed. That's what it's made for. It's supposed nah, to do, nah, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I see, I see hats and stuff. I got an idea. I ain't gonna tell y'all though, cause it's gonna be surprising. Y'all know I be dropping bangers. Nigga be wearing that Sean John, nigga. Huh? Nigga be wearing that Sean John. <laughs> and another thing too. Sometimes I got, I got, bro, I got female pants. I got women pants in my collection too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because some of the women pants just be way better. Like, the proportions be way better, bro. Bro, y'all gotta look. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something, man. Really listen to me when I tell y'all this. Y'all gotta break out of this these norms and these rules you know what i'm saying that make it seem like it's not okay to do certain thing or that it's um not masculine if you want to wear certain women things now i ain't talking about no dressing that like me i'm cool that's not me i ain't talking about no dressing that but like simple stuff like dudes wearing pink little little stuff like that like little stuff like that break out of that norm like Think outside the box, bro, and, and stop going based off what reality thinks or, or, or what's popular. Stop going based off what the people say, nigga. Sometimes you gotta say, fuck the people, nigga, and you gotta do what you wanna do. Cause at the end of the day, all you guys yourself, at the end of the day, you only here for you. No, well, no. At the end of the day, bro, fuck it. You get what I'm trying to say, bro. Stop being brain dead and think for yourself. Don't worry about what nobody else think, cause at the end of the day, it don't matter. Nigga, they not feeding you, they not putting you to sleep, they not putting money in your pockets, so it don't matter, bro. Don't care. Especially being on this channel, especially being a part of this family now. Y'all, we raw. We raw over here. We all raw, we honest, and we don't give no damn fucks. You know what I'm saying? We do what we want, we do what we want over here, we do it with our help. <laughs> We do what we want over here. We do what our heart tells us to. And we feed our mind good things and we help each other grow and elevate. We elevate over here. That's all we do, we elevate.
so. Bro, your shit is cruised, bro. What the hell? Bro, this is what it's supposed to do. That shit is sick. Say, Nigga, what the <laughs> hell? What you pick up? I picked up some jeans, bro, and I got this in here. That's one thing I seen today. That's one thing. Them jeans look like. Nah, they baggy. They, they big jeans. George, bro, you gotta cut them. That's some nigga got them. How about that bitch with my swag on? That's what, been, that's what I've been feeling lately, bro. Say what, shot, shot. Yeah. Hey, bro, y'all niggas seen a uh, Bob Marley trailer? <laughs> that shit that heat, nigga. A Bob Marley trailer, I already said. What he said? What he said? He said. He said. <laughs> he said. Reggae for the people. Oh, he said. He said reggae for the people. Okay, got that. And then what? He said, What you want, man? Reggae for the people music. I'm no super. Oh, yeah. <laughs> reggae the people music. I gotta watch the trailer, man. Nigga be talking about no free promo. Nigga be so stuck up, bro. Go watch that trailer, bro. I might start doing member of the week. I'm gonna do member of the week. We're gonna start doing member of the week, okay? Um, It's gonna be member of the week. So, whoever I know this is being consistent, is commenting, liking, you know what I'm saying? Being present for every single video that I drop, and I notice that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a shout out on the videos, you're gonna get a shout out, and you're gonna get a follow back on Instagram. You're gonna get a shout out, follow back on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, so, I be getting a lot of like heartfelt DMs from y'all, man, and that be meaning the most to me. Like, y'all be saying the most heartfelt so, and I really appreciate it because, like, y'all don't understand how far, how far I've come. Like, how hard I had to work to get to the spot I'm in right now. And I'm just so grateful that my work is finally being appreciated and it's starting to, you know what I'm saying, get recognized to more people. So, man, I'm so grateful. And this is only the beginning, man. So, like I said, it's like my third month. I was already, I was already found to film. Like, I already loved film before. I used to do films on my iPhone. So, I did whole fight scenes on my iPhone in high school. I won the Film Academy. Um, yeah. And I used to do it all on my iPhone, man. And I started a clothing brand with Key. And we was able to fund um, the equipment we needed for YouTube. And I got everything I needed to get started on this journey. And, uh, man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And uh, y'all loving it. And uh, I'm just getting started. Like, I got so much up my sleeve, man. Reggae. Bro, like, Rock Lee. Reggae. 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 The people music. I'm no Reggae. The people music. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Go watch that trailer, dude. Like you like that? Yup. Pick it up. See, when you you can't, like, second guess, like, oh, nope. See it? Get it? You like it? You feel it? Get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then if you don't wear it, I'm pretty sure, like, even look. Another thing, it's like when you buy something, you might not even have nothing in your closet to go with it yet. But over time, as you keep buying stuff and it start building up, you can be like, ah, oh, this go. Ah, yeah. And everything gonna start going together, I swear to God. It's just like, you might not even see it now, but believe it or not, your style changes over time with your mind. It's not, it's not just a style thing, but it's your mindset. Your style will start to change along with your mind as you start to elevate so you'll maybe start liking different colors and start liking a word crop top some shit i don't know nigga i don't know what you like but you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so you start to elevate along with your mind and that's the beauty of it you go through so much stages when it comes to fashion i don't been through so much stage i don't been through my emo stage <laughs> I don't been through my emo stage, my um, just straight streetwear. I'm talking about. Um, it was a little bit though. It was a little bit like when it was only a trend. I only wore one fit when they used to do like the graphic cars, the graphic NASCARs on a shirt with the uh, with the. You get it. That was barely a phase, nigga. I wore that one time. I'm not counting that. So I did my emo stage, right? I had my emo stage. What else? My classy stage, I used to wear just straight suits, man. Um, my chill stage, just sweatsuits and, and texts. What else? 
What else uh, fashion styles they got? Bro, you name it. Like, I'm talking about trench coats. Like, I'm looking like, like, I'm looking like, what's that nigga name? Blade. Blade. Like, I'm talking about tre like, trench coats, full trench coats, all black, slacks, glasses, ski masks, bang, nigga. If you got me on Instagram, actually, I'm gonna pop a photo right here. Like, I went through so much <laughs> stages. I went through so much stages in fashion. It grows to a point where you start to develop your own style and you start putting stuff together. You know what I'm saying? By yourself, so. Um, maybe you're already there and maybe you're not there, but man, it's gonna be a hell of a journey and just enjoy it. Some days you're gonna wear stupid shit, but that's all a part of the process though. Like, you might wear some exotic shit and look back at it. For two years later, you might look back at it and be like, nigga, what the f was I wearing, nigga? That was part of you growing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that led you to the point you was at now. So don't be afraid to, um, venture out to more things. And once again, bro, Nigga, don't listen to what these folks be telling y'all about y'all style. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Don't. A nigga can't tell you what not to wear. Like, nigga, I'm not your IMVU captain, nigga. You can't sit here. You're not gonna sit here and dress me, especially as another man. As another man, I'm not gonna allow you to sit here and tell me what it were. Like, I'm your IMVU captain, nigga. You dress your damn self, bro. You be the niggas with young boy shirts on, skinny jeans with the paint splash, with the paint splash. <laughs> If you wear a young boy shirt with the skinny jeans and the spank plaid. I keep saying spank. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, I'm hungry, bro. I'm going to catch y'all when we go eat, man. This is like the worst you can... This is the worst you can actually... Nigga, get, look, bro. Let me see, bro. This is the worst you can actually get. Bro. I swear to God. Look, I kid you not. If a nigga is wearing these, bro, that nigga Dookie is bleeding through these shorts. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you, bro. These... These be the raunchy johns, I swear to God. Nigga, your ass be so hot in these shits. It's gonna so bleed. It's so if a nigga got them on at the ballpark, do not run <laughs> ball with that nigga. Do not run ball with him. Run, nigga. That nigga stink, I swear to God. He got on these. Are these N ones? They NBA, nigga. They close enough. They close enough, bro. If nigga got on NBA shorts or N ones, that nigga funky. <laughs> Caesar salad, that ooh ooh ah ah salad, nigga. That Caesar salad, nigga. <laughs> That's racist. Depends of the age. Come on. Come on, man. How could I forget y'all, man? Y'all been good to me here. You get first bite. I can't eat after you. That nigga my bad. Oh, we not there yet. Okay. Okay. You right. We just hit three games. So my bad. I'm getting a little bit too excited. I'm already starting to think y'all family. You feel what I'm saying? My bad. Humbling experience. Oh man. Why you eating like the food mad at you? <laughs> like you eating like you killed it. But you got chill, bro. Like you murdering it. You're not even eating it. <laughs> like I eat like I gotta like I gotta see what I'm tasting for. You see what you tasting? What? <laughs> what does this nigga mean? He has to see what he's tasting. <laughs> nigga, it's right there. I mean, taste. I gotta taste. I gotta taste what I'm tasting. Is your taste buzz is not enough? You do. Like, if it's like Caesar, I want to taste that Caesar. Mm. Bonjour. I was sitting here waiting. This whole time for the pasta. Well, we was waiting so long to where I don't munch down on my fries. It got full. Bonjour, Woody Vava. Yeah, ever just be waiting on y'all food? So you start munching the appetizer and then the appetizer end up filling you up. That's lit what just happened. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gotta get into Go Box for this. 
It's chicken on free. Nigga just got body slammed. Nigga, what the? Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie, I ate a little bit of this. But like I said, I got pulled off the fries. And now you got this fat ass plate with all this sauce on it. It's good. But it's like, I'm getting full. My patience is thinning. And we still ain't get our garlic knots yet. So if I don't get my garlic knots in five minutes, somebody gonna get a garlic knot, nigga. Tell that garlic knot, tell that garlic knot, squeeze it. Bash up your damn head, you get garlic knots. Yeah, 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 garlic knots, man. <laughs> what? How you gonna argue with me? You don't got no food in your face like me. Amazing right here, man. I play righteous, man. Right. Shit man, you question what you about to do later, man. To make you question what you about mm. to do later. Nah, you. I'm about to go home and edit this video. You. Hey, y'all go subscribe to this channel, man. Key official, man. He up too, man. Yes, sir, man. You get Road to 1K. Road to 1K, man. So now what I'm about to do is... I'm going to ask for a to-go box. And I'm going to put this in the to-go. That late night craving will be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. I might take that. Look, I don't know. I don't care. I'm about to get to go box. I'm about to put it to go box. And then, uh, yeah, with that being said, that's the end of this video, man. I hope y'all enjoy, man. Like I said, we just hit 3K, man. I don't know where we at now. Who knows? Let the universe do its thing and let y'all keep showing love. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe, smash the like button, man. Peace and love to y'all. Y'all be safe, safety, man. Keep elevating, man. We out. Bye. Have a great time.